<laughs> Matthew. From Matthew. I'm right here. There he is. Get out. You can't take pictures and be in the ceremony. For a special moment in Marshall basketball now, for 81 years, all but a very few played right here in this gymnasium. Marshall has been fortunate enough to send one man into the National Basketball Association, the NBA. Hal Uplinger played here in the mid to late 1940s. He was the Northern League's most valuable player for a league championship team in 1947, which celebrates its 70th anniversary this year. Coach Lou Wheeler was the coach of that team. He was named, up he was, to the All-City team and was the fourth leading scorer in the city. Everybody called him Uppy. He went on to play for the National Championship Junior College team at LA City College before heading off to play for the legendary coach Claire B at Long Island University. He also played for a national powerhouse AAU team during his time in the service at the Los Alamitos Naval Air Station and played two seasons with the old Baltimore Bullets, who are now the Washington Wizards. After his playing days were over, he had a very successful career producing sports television, and with his friend Tony Verna, actually came up with the idea and invented what is known today as instant replay on television. Uppy was a member of our charter class the Boys Basketball Hall of Fame in 1986. He was always a proud supporter of Marshall Athletics, often attending our alumni games. And one year, if you happen to be here, you might recall that at the age of 76, he was pulled out of the stands in full clothing to shoot two mock technical free throws against Coach Tangi that we had called by our ref. And in his street clothes, with no warm-up at all, he walked up to the free throw line and put them both right in. Hal Uplinger passed away this past February in Northridge after a short illness. Before he did, I was able to tell him the good news that we all share with you in the community of Marshall basketball. And if I can have his family members who are here tonight, they'll get to say a couple of words, and we'll share that news with you as well. Two of his children are here to help celebrate this moment. Uh, John, or rather Sarah and Tracy, and grandchildren Matthew and John. John's taking pictures, trying to get the whole thing uh, done here. Uh, let's hear from Tracy first, and then Sarah, you want to talk to her too? First of all, I am extremely honored and full of gratitude to be here with these inductees into the Hall of Fame. It's fabulous. It's amazing. I'm, I'm just really taken back by this. I just have to say, basketball. It's all my father loved and talked about. When I was growing up, he would take me, we would throw hoops, teach me how to dribble. I cannot shoot a basket to save my life, but the man was amazing, and he was a really wonderful father. And if he was here today, he would say, this is really neat. He would say like this, this is really neat that this court is dedicated to him. But he would be really proud that all of you are here and motivated for the game of basketball because that's what he is about. He's, he would be proud, he is proud, he's here in spirit, he'll always be here now playing the game with you and I'm proud as well. Thank you. loved Marshall High School. It was by far his favorite school. Anything, I mean, if anyone wore the color blue, you'd be like, oh my god, they're really supporting Marshall. They just don't know it. Um, and I guess at one point when he was playing here, one of his buddies came up with a kind of Marshall High School, sis boom ba, how do you like your oysters, rah, rah, rah. And he would just chant that all the time. I don't think he ever knew what the actual chant was. That was his chant. But um, yeah, he definitely would be very happy. And he, he really loves this school more than I think any school. Like yeah, he went to LIU and um, Los Angeles City College for some bit, but Marshall was the school of, of the universe.
John, you can talk. We're just gonna take pictures. All right, then grandson Matthew. Uh, I never really knew my grandpa much. I never spent much time for him with him, but I know he did love the sport and he sure loved this community. It's such a great honor to be up here and talk about him. Uh, even though he's passed on, I know he'll be a great influence to this whole community. And I just want to say congratulations to all you guys in the Hall of Fame now. And that's all I have to say. Even John, come on, go over to the wall on the far side of the floor here and have our Hall of Famers on either side. Yeah. Can, can my mother come up too? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Okay.